because one of the most important things that I learned about a man is a man should be a pillar, someone that's strong and holds people up, not a caterpillar, someone who's lazy and just eats and consumes. Going back to my initial point, if you want to be treated like a king, you need a kingdom. Where's your kingdom? Yo, what's good everybody? This is Hafiz and welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are having a great day. So, as usual guys, go ahead and grab a pen, grab a sheet of paper, go ahead and pull out the notes on your phone and we have a message for today's video. And today's message is, if you want to be treated like a king, you need to have your own kingdom. One more time, if you want to be treated like a king, you need to have your own kingdom. So a question that I'm always being asked on Patreon is Hafiz, how do I get respect? How do I get my mom to respect me? How do I get my siblings to respect me? How do I get my friends to respect me? How do I get my girlfriend to respect me? Guys are always asking me that question. And in my opinion, in a perfect world, everyone should be respected equally, whether they're the president of the United States or whether they're a child. But unfortunately, we don't live in a perfect world and everyone doesn't get equal respect. So here are three reasons that I've noticed from talking to hundreds of guys why men don't get the respect that they deserve. And reason number one is that they're not self-reliant. One of the biggest issues that I see is that so many guys depend upon other people to take care of them. You see, it's cool when you're a baby, when you're a child, to need mommy to take care of you, but when you become a man, you need to be self-reliant, be able to take care of yourself on your own. I know so many dudes who, when they need money, instead of figuring out how to get their money, they're trying to borrow money from their girlfriends, they've been trying to borrow money from their sisters, which is a big no-no to me. You should never be borrowing money from a woman, in my personal opinion. And so many guys are constantly needing people to take care of them and do stuff for them. This is a huge problem. As a man, you must be reliant upon yourself. There's nothing wrong with asking for help, but the primary individual who needs to be taking care of your life is you, not your mom. Your mom is not here to change the diaper forever. So if your mom is constantly take, um, changing the diaper forever and taking care of you, obviously she won't respect you. If you're the dude in the group who's always needing to borrow money and always need somebody to give them a ride because their car doesn't work, obviously it's hard for people to respect you. So it's really important that men learn how to establish themselves. And that's one of the biggest reasons why I created the 10 Steps of Healthy Manhood to teach you guys how to be self-reliant and how to establish yourself as a man so that you're not in constant need. Because one of the most important things that I learned about a man is a man should be a pillar, someone that's strong and holds people up, not a caterpillar, someone who's lazy and just eats and consumes. That is really important. A lot of you guys are just consumers, constantly take, 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 take. Don't have the ability to be on your own and to give to other people. So that self-reliance is key. I'm telling you right now, to all the guys who struggle with getting respect from their moms, I guarantee you, watch what happens when you leave your mom's house. Watch what happens when you're no longer asking your mother to borrow your money. Watch the difference in your life, what happens when you literally don't need her for anything and all, all you are to her life is someone who gives and helps her out instead of the other way around. So like I said, for me, men, self-reliance is extremely important. Take care of that 10 steps to healthy manhood if you need a resource. And the second reason I noticed that men don't get respect is because they have nothing tangible to show. Unfortunately, we live in a world where people gotta see it. You know what I mean? People have to see tangible things that show them that you're putting in the work, that you're doing something. And a lot of you guys have nothing to show. You don't have any businesses that you've built. You don't have any careers that you've engaged in. You don't have anything tangible that's like, yo, I built these things. Going back to my initial point, if you want to be treated like a king, you need a kingdom. Where's your kingdom? What have you built? What have you achieved? What have you accomplished? And that is something that I've noticed a lot of men don't have anything to show. I'm telling you right now, whenever I have a friend, and I hear about them like doing something really dope, it's like, wow, you get a, a higher level of you know, respect for them. 
Oh, did you hear about so-and-so and so-and-so? He got a job at Procter & Gamble. I'm like, dang, that's a, that's a big company. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Oh, did you hear about so-and-so and so-and-so? He started a company and right now he's earning seven figures a year. Oh, dang, that's really impressive. Oh, did you hear about so-and-so and so-and-so? He started a church in, you know, an impoverished community to give back. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Tangible things, tangible things to show. You know what I mean? And that is something that a lot of you men are lacking. And the third reason that men don't get respect is because they don't establish healthy boundaries. Like I said, guys, when you are a king and you built a kingdom, now there needs to be laws in the land. Now there needs to be, hey, this is what can exist in this kingdom and here's what doesn't exist in this kingdom. So if I'm a man and I'm a, and I'm a king, right, and I built my kingdom, have my own place, have my own car, have my own money, I have my own purpose, I have a really happy, amazing life that's where I'm doing very well. If I'm bringing a woman into my life and she wants to disrespect me, she gotta go. You can't break the king's laws in the king's kingdom without being exiled. And that's the same thing with friends. If you have friends who are constantly disrespecting you and are treating you wrong, they can't be in your life. You have to establish healthy boundaries, even with family. You need to say, hey, mom, I love you. I respect you, you know, but at the end of the day, this is not how you treat me. But the problem is, going back to reason number one, when you're not self-reliant, when mommy's paying your bills, you can't say those things. When you need that girl to take care of you and to help you drive you to work every day, you can't establish those things. So... One of the most important things to do as a man is to establish healthy boundaries. And one of the biggest things that helps with establish healthy boundaries is having that identity, having that belief that, yo, I am a great man and therefore people should not treat me wrongly. This is why I created that identity course. So guys, remember, 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 if you want to be treated like a king, you must have a kingdom. You must have tangible things that you've done. You must be self-reliant. You must establish boundaries for other people. And like I said, guys, I've given you all the resources possible to help you with these things on Patreon. I've given you the manhood course. I've given you the finance course. I've given you the fitness course. I've given you the identity course. I've given you the healing course. I've given you Skillshare where you can build skills and better help where you can deal with your past wounds and get counseling. I've given you almost everything possible and I got so much more to give you to help you to build your kingdom. You have all the tools necessary to be successful. But like I always say, you got to put in the work. You got to improve yourself physically, mostly spiritually and financially to where you yourself can now be proud of what you've achieved. And once you are proud of what you've achieved and once you've built your kingdom, now people will then treat you as such because they're like, wow, that's so-and-so, so-and-so. Look what he's done. Look where he's at. And watch how people begin to treat you better. And then... If there's somebody who still doesn't treat you better, then guess what, guys? Exile, banishment, they can't be in my life because you can't treat me as such. So I hope this video helped you guys so much. Be sure to share, share, share this video with other people. Thank you guys so much. And as always, my lives is every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And have a great day.